Hi everyone, welcome to day nine of the Christmas Collab December themed holiday projects. Um, it's hosted by Poet Spice here on YouTube and Instagram. And um, so today I have kind of a fun thing, I think. You know, I'm always think, trying to think of new ways to package things because I do craft fairs. And so last year I found these cute bears on clearance um, at the at-home store. So I, when I find things on clearance, I, I buy them and save them for the next year for my craft fair. But in this particular case, I'm in an ornament swap through Barely Arts Glue, they assigned me my partner. So, and it does not have to be a, a handmade ornament. So I am going to give my swap partner this adorable bear. Isn't she cute? Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with her. I hate to, to give her away actually. So, okay, so I've got one of my um, clear bags from clearbags.com and again, it's one of those bags that I've shown before that has the cardboard in the bottom, which is my favorite thing because then it stands up. So I'm kind of making this up as I go, you guys, which is what I do when, I, when I'm when i designing things for my craft fair or for a swap. So I've got some fake snow here that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna put this in the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna put her in the bag, okay? I did take the price tag off, but I left the little tag on the back on. Okay, so I think I really need her to sit a little bit because I need enough clearance here on the top of the bag to fold it down. Let me move my camera up a little bit. Okay, so I've got her in the bag. Now, I'm just, I've grabbed some picks. I got these at Joann's, I think they were buy one, get two free or something like that. So isn't this pretty? It's frosted. I don't know if you can see the sparkles on the camera, but it's sparkly. So I'm gonna put that down there. Isn't that cute? And then I wanted some green color in my bag. So I, I'm just gonna pull off a sprig of this artificial pine but I also got it Joann's. So I'm gonna pull that off. And I'm also going to put that down in there. I'll turn the bag so that you guys can see it. Okay, see that? Then I have, these are, I've been using a lot of these this year. These are the vase fillers that you can get at Hobby Lobby and this is the Christmas ones. I've, I have been loving putting them in my bags this year. I just think it adds a really cute little touch. So I'm just gonna drop some of these down in there and move them around a little bit. So that's what it looks like so far, okay? Now, I'm going to fold in my creases and I want to fold this over. I'm just gonna fold it over one time because it's not very tall. Okay, and I just got a piece of paper and I cut it the width of the bag. And see, I don't wanna to go too far down because I don't wanna cover up her face. Plus, I want it to staple flat. So I'm pulling it up a little bit. And see how that string is in her face where you can hang her up? So I'm gonna, before I staple, I'm gonna move that string so that it's not hiding her cute face. I'm gonna tuck it in the back here. It's being very stubborn. Let's see if I can get it down in the back there. Okay, that's better. Okay, now I'm just gonna turn her so that she's facing front, okay, a little bit. Okay, now I'm back to folding my bag. Okay, and here's my topper. I'm putting it on there and pulling it up a little bit so that it doesn't cover any of her up. Okay, now I'm gonna staple each end. So I'm gonna put a staple there. 
and a staple over here. Let's make sure that's straight. Okay, now I have these little um, glue, sticky glue things that are double-sided. I get these at Dollar Tree down the automotive aisle. These are the best thing in the whole world because they're double-sided, so you just pull off the other side. Now I'm gonna put this in the middle and I have a snowflake. I got these at Walmart. I'm leaving the string on it in case she wants to use it as an ornament. And normally I would put it about right there, but see how it kind of covers her up. So I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna turn it just a little bit. You know what, I'm gonna put one more glue thing on there to make sure it stays. So I'm gonna go right here. Okay. My son's up there playing on his Xbox and sometimes it gets a little loud and annoying. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'll pull that down just a little. Okay, I'm gonna press it on. Now, because I just don't want that white sticky tape to show, Walmart had these this year. I believe there was six. Yeah, I think there was six on a card and this one says, Be Merry. And again, it's an ornament that she could possibly use. So to cover up the tape behind the snowflake, I'm going to put a piece of double-sided tape on here. And this would pull off very easily if she wants to use it for an ornament. Or she might even wanna leave it on the snowflake and use it as an ornament. But see, my snowflake's kind of crooked. Here's the top. So let's see, maybe I should rethink this. Okay, I'm gonna pull that off. I'm gonna put this at the top and then just make sure it's not covering up the little bear. Okay, I'm pushing it on. Now I've already taken the sticky part off. I'm gonna put this in the middle and push it on. I'm just gonna kind of fold that little string behind and there we go. That's what it looks like. I hope you can see it okay. Isn't that cute? I think she'll really like that. I would be thrilled to get this in the mail, wouldn't you? Cute, huh? So I hope that gives you an idea of some cute ways that you can package things up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for day 10. Bye for now.